So now, in the last video we looked at how we could light 5 red LEDs with 12 volts. When it comes to uh, blue LEDs, uh, we can light uh, 3 of them in series pretty well with 12 volts uh, right there. And uh, we got a higher value resistor there because we don't need as much current to get the same brightness. These are probably about the same brightness as the red LEDs were uh, that had 13 milliamps of current approximately uh, going through them. And um, so... Uh, what it is, is that each one of these LEDs drops about 3 uh, volts, especially when it gets close to like 15 milliamps of current or something. It uh, have a pretty solid uh, 3 volts across it. I don't know the exact voltage um, or the exact current, but it does shift a little bit with current. Always be aware of that. But in any case, we're going to expect about a 3 volt drop from each LED. 3, 6, 9, right there. So we got 12 volts total leaving us with 3 volts left across the resistor. It just happens to work out where it's the same voltage as the 3 LEDs in this case. Resistors don't have a voltage that they set across them. They'll accept whatever voltage is thrown at them, although series resistors will divide up that voltage. However, parallel resistors will have the same... Uh, we could put a parallel resistor there. If it was 1K, it would also have uh, 3 volts across it. We would end up with twice the current. We're not going to drag that out. Just realize if you want to divide up voltage, make sure the resistors are in series. That's the main thing. So we got uh, 3 volts across the 1K resistor divided by 1,000 ohms for about 0 0.003 amps, which is the same as 3 milliamps there. And you can see the LEDs are uh, pretty bright. So I'm going to slide the uh, power supply over so we can look at uh, some more stuff. And uh, I'm just trying to kind of get you familiar with series LEDs. And because I uh, like I said with this higher voltage might as well have three series LEDs you could uh, get uh, one LED and use a resistor that'll set the current to three milliamps that's probably like 2.9 I'm guessing um, but uh, then you just have one LED that's lit up the more resistance that you use you might want to put the resistors in series um, then so they don't overheat uh, you may not have to though but uh, in any case the uh, one LED if you set about 3 milliamps of current through it, that's how bright it's going to be. And you're going to have the resistors that it's just waste heat. The 12 volts still provides the same amount of current. It can either provide more light or more heat. Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, we're going to go to 13 volts here. Another thing, nice thing about the blue LEDs, since the uh, current is low and the LEDs are bright, we can actually adjust the voltage a lot higher than we did with the uh, red LEDs. So there you can see uh, let's stop around 10 milliamps approximately right there. We could go up to 20 volts. This is still uh, safe for the LEDs. Um, you want to keep them below uh, 20 uh, milliamps of current. And 10 is uh, it's a good amount of current to uh, max out for the uh, blue LEDs right there. The uh, red ones probably okay with 10 milliamps as well. But they just aren't as bright at uh, the same current as the red LEDs. So you might want to bump it up like 12, 13. But uh, yeah, you don't want to exceed 20 milliamps of current, but you don't want to hover right at 20 milliamps of current either. That'll probably shorten their lives. The closer you can get to 10 or less, probably the better. So yeah, there we got uh, the 12 volts. If uh, we happen to be using a 12 volt supply, um, it can even vary a lot with the blue LEDs. We can put three of them in series. Um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, and I think that's why uh, you see a lot of, uh, I have like power banks that just use uh, like four LEDs to indicate the power level. I think that's why. They don't need much current. They can get bright. So there's a lot more versatility than uh, the red ones, which you need a higher amount of current, which uh, wastes, you know, battery a lot quicker and has other issues. We didn't have as much flexibility with the red LEDs, multiple red LEDs as we do with the uh, blue ones right here. So in any case, uh, hopefully that was uh, useful. Again, I'm just throwing out like a bunch of different scenarios in electronics um, because the more scenarios you understand, uh, the you know, they'll pop up from time to time in other circuits. And uh, so once you have a solid grasp of them by themselves, you'll recognize them more easily in more complex circuits. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.